Hi, these comments are for CW. This is Michael from BetterTruffleScores.com. And this is my free writing evaluation service. You sent me your practice test yesterday and you want to get a, a basic idea of what your writing is from 0 to 30. And you did the integrated writing task. So I'm going to give you some feedback on that. And before I do, I'm going to, I'm going to advertise a little bit. I have a really good TOEFL writing boot camp course. It is not free. It is not cheap but it will help you get over the 24 points you're looking for on the TOEFL writing section. Okay, so let me look at the rubrics here. Okay, now let's take a look at what you wrote. Let me go to the integrated. Okay, here we go right here. Okay, so I'm looking at, at what you wrote here. Now, I wanted to see what Microsoft thinks about your writing. You probably already know. Uh, I'm going to review it. Let's take a look at this. Okay, this is what this tells me here. Your vocabulary is high. Your, sentence, your sentences are a little bit short at 19.7 for an average. So you need to get your sentence length closer to 25. Your grade level is 11. <laughs> 0.6 so you want to try to get that around 13 or 14 so I think if you increase your sentence length to 25 this grade level the flesh king k grade level is going to go up maybe to 13 or 14 okay that would be my first suggestion and I like to look at that because ETS has an artificial intelligence scoring engine and they look at things like that and I don't know exactly how their artificial intelligence score engine works, but I'm sure they're going to look at your vocabulary level and also your sentences and your paragraphs. And, and they're going to look at all those things and draw some conclusions about your writing level. Okay, so the beginning, the essay introduces the, this is a little bit awkward. You don't need to do any of this. You just say the author in the reading passage explains and then the speaker in the lecture opposes the suggestion. So I don't think you need a lot of that. So I read through the whole essay. I can give you my opinion now. Uh, I think when we when we go back to the rubrics here and I, I think in this this first area although the overall response is definitely oriented to the task it conveys only vague, global, unclear, or somewhat imprecise connection of the points made in the lecture to points made in the reading. So I think some of what you're saying is imprecise. I, I got that feeling after reading what you're saying. Uh, you also have errors of usage or grammar may be more frequent, may result in noticeably vague expressions or obscure meaning. So. I think I'm going to put you in the three area because of this one thing, this descriptor, according to ETS, and then also this one. So let me give you an example of what I call imprecise. You say, for instance, species like leatherback and loggerhead are included in the commercial nets. She goes on and states that there exist few unusual shrimps that preclude. So th there's something missing here. There's something imprecise. I'm not getting the whole picture with some of what you write here. And that's why I'm going to put you at about 20 to 21 points out of 30 on this practice test. All right, thank you.